Hey, Shalom, this is Brother Yuanathan. Right first and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakah HaKodash. I want to give double honors to the Apostles and the Elders of Great Millstone. I want to say Shalom to all the brothers and, of course, the few sisters who are pursuing this truth in sincerity. All right, may the blessing of election be upon your house. I was talking to my son yesterday, and I, you know, he made a choice that I was like, hey man, you about to make this choice. Was that the most spiritual? Was that the most spiritual choice that you could have made? And he was like, I don't know. I said, okay, let me let me explain it to you in terms that you can understand. You know, because he's a child. So, but I try to, I even try to implement that in my videos to explain it to where my son was watching. He can understand what I was actually getting at. I can do better at it. But uh, I explained it to him like this. I said, look, everything that feels good isn't necessarily good for you. Everything that's comfortable doesn't necessarily mean it's, it's it's the best decision for you to make. I said, you can, you know, you can eat candy, eating candy, it, it feels good, right? Yeah, Dad, it feels good. I said, but if you have too much candy, you'll get what? He said, yeah, you'll get two things. You'll get, yeah, I said, yeah, you'll get cavities. You get enough cavities and, you know, you get enough tooth damage that could damage your heart health. You damage your heart, man, now your life is in jeopardy. I said, you see how something making decisions time and time again that just feel good can build up to something that can alter your whole life, that can be a huge thorn in your flesh? We're getting ready to step in, in the time, all of us, but we're going to have to make uncomfortable decisions, choose the uncomfortable path for the sake of our souls to be in good standing with Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. He was the only one that could save. He was the only one that could truly protect you and, and, and put you in, in, in a proper place. You know, and you know, I'm sure all of us can do better at it. We're getting ready to step into that time where we're really gonna have to apply all the things that we've learned to our life and to our decision making. Alright, so that was just a little a quick point. I'm gonna read this one precept and then uh close it up there just a quick lesson all right this is uh matthew 7 and 13 all right it reads enter ye in at the straight gate and that's s-t-r-a-i-t meaning a pathway of difficulty as you are as most of you who have been learning you know this all right for wide is the gate that comfortable way and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction yeah it may be comfortable it may be easy to enter into but it leads to what? Death. And many there be which go in there at, all right? Most people are going to make the comfortable choices. Most people, in order to get food and resources, when Esau comes with his, you know, his digital all, his digital branding, to say, okay, now you can function in society. You take this. They're going to choose that way because that seems like, you know, to the flesh, you know, looking with the eyes in your face, that's going to seem like the most comfortable and the most reasonable and to a lot of people the most logical decision to make but us knowing what we know through the spirit know that that's not the choice to make that that pathway again like the scripture says leads to destruction all right verse 14 again because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and there be so i can and few there be that find it okay and now another precept i wanted to get just bear with me real quick while Proverbs 14 and 2, it says, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Yeah, the flesh, you know, it seems right to make the easy and the comfortable choice. It seems right. Man, you got friends in the world and, you know, they're cool, you kick with them, you know, but you, you know, you, you know, they got things that they do that can pull you down or, you know, cause the ministry to be blamed that you hang around, you see, in these times, man, you got to separate from people, man, there's a lot of judgments getting ready to fall on people, and, you know, just got to be, be circumspect and, and conscious of the company that you're keeping as well, you know, there's, 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 there's say it's a woman or anybody that's just taken away from your time to, to, to focus on the ministry, focus on your purpose, you know, you need to, you know, pull 
back from that a little bit or completely so that you can fulfill your purpose make your calling and your election sure all right let's uh there's a thousand examples you can give you know i always bring up the point that you are what you give your time to all right let's, let's continue on here um proverbs 19 and 21 it says there are many devices in a man's heart nevertheless the counsel of the lord that shall stand so the only thing that really is going to be able to stand the test of time okay is a, is a man whose mind is, is guided by the counsel of the lord not the devices of his own heart okay so yeah just a, a quick hit i wanted to do man uh, obviously you can make this lesson you can, you can take this this could be a whole class but um just something quick i wanted to speak on operance is obviously edifying